Hey everyone, Joshua Stuck here with another Woodsy Dude video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make char cloth. All you're going to need to do that is some 100% cotton material. This is an old bed sheet, like flannel bed sheet that I've got torn up here. You could use an old t-shirt, bandana, something like that. And you're going to need some kind of a tin to put it in. This is an old Altoids tin that I've got here, but you could also have another metal tin like you see here whatever works you have laying around, and you're going to need some kind of a campfire. Stick around and I'll show you how to put it all together to make your very own char cloth. Once you have a fire started, you're gonna to wanna to take and process your cotton and put it inside your tins. So I have two different kinds of tins here, like I said before. I've got this little one here that has a hole in it. You need, if you have a tin that is tightly sealed like this one that you see here, uh, you need to have some sort of a small hole in it in order for the gas inside to escape. Otherwise the whole thing's gonna get too pressurized and the little completely pop out and then all the material inside will just burn up. Um, so you need to have a small hole in it. If you have an Altoids tin like you see here, you you don't have to put a hole in this because the hinges on the back uh, allow the gas inside to escape and that's just fine. So you don't have to do anything special or different for an Altoids tin. But for a tin like this that's sealed really quite snugly, you're going to need to have uh, some kind of a venting hole put in it and it can be on the top it could be on the side where, wherever you want to put it so I'm going to take my cotton here this is like I said a old flannel <clears throat> sheet that we no longer use and I just am going to tear it into smaller pieces like this and place them inside the tin you don't want to pack it super super tight but you can put a decent amount inside your tin. I'm going to do this inside both this tin and in the Altoids tin. Just place enough in both to show you what I'm doing and then we'll toss it in the fire. So I filled this tin with a bunch of char cloth. I'll just close that up. And now we'll place these in the fire. You just toss them directly into the fire. Like you see here. So as I build up the fire around it, you can see the smoke coming out of the hole here. That's the gases inside escaping. And those gases actually catch on fire. And you can see this large flame that's shooting up out of that little hole there. When that flame starts to burn down, get smaller and smaller and smaller and eventually go out, then you know that all of the gases inside have completely burned off. You wait about five or so more minutes and then you will have your char cloth. You'll be all ready to go. So I'm going to continue to build up my fire around this, get it burning. And then in a little bit, we'll pull it out and see what we get. Once your tin has been in the fire for at least a good 20 minutes or so, there's no more smoke or gas or flames coming out of the hole. That's when you want to remove it from the fire. So just make sure and set it off to the side. Don't open it right away. You want to let it cool off. If you open it up while the insides are still hot, then everything inside will catch on fire and you won't have char cloth anymore. So set it off to the side, let it cool, and then we'll be ready to open it up. Okay, once your tins have completely cooled off, you are ready to open them up and see your char cloth. So if I open this up, you'll see that the materials inside have shrunk down drastically. But what I'm left with is this blackened cloth-like material here, which is now char cloth. If this is still brown when you open it up, then you didn't have it in the fire long enough. And you need to put it back in the fire and it will still... Um, cook down a little bit further and become black like you see here and and this is this is what you want for your char cloth now this can be used for uh, catching sparks for like flint and steel or other types of 
ways in which you want to make a fire. I'll just show you right here real quick with with the ferro rod. All it takes is one tiny little spark like you see here. And then the only thing that is going to put this out is either water or smothering it. But the more I blow on it, the hotter it gets. So that's how you make char cloth using a little tin like you see here or with this Altoids tin and a little bit of natural material like a t-shirt, old flannel sheets, bandana, something like that. Place it inside, put it in your fire and you'll have char cloth. I'm Joshua Stuck with another Woodsy Dude video. Thanks for watching.